Episode 9 of My Sweet Mobster starts with Yunha learning from the prosecutor Hyunwoo that her childhood friend is doing fine. Hyunwoo gives her an indirect hint that Jihwan is the one she's been looking for all this time. When Yunha meets Jihwan, her heart is heavy. She tells him, Thank you for everything you've done for me, but we should not see each other again. Her words are filled with sadness, and Jihwan feels a pang of regret. The next morning, they meet again. They both feel slightly awkward, the unspoken feelings hanging in the air. Yunha looks away, not greeting Jihwan, trying to mask her emotions. Jihwan watches her, his heart aching with longing, wishing he could turn back time. Yunha and Jihwan's crew decide to go to the library together, leaving behind only Jihwan and Jiyoung. Jihwan, meanwhile, locks the kitty gang boss in a car and warns him, if you ever try to harm any employee of Thirsty Deer, you'll regret it. At the library, the group encounters some high school kids smoking. With a stern look, they manage to scare the kids off. Yunha's friend notices her quiet mood and asks if she had a fight with Jihwan. Yunha sighs and admits, I'm moving out before my one-sided feelings for Jihwan get any deeper. Jihwan's crew comes up with a plan to make Jihwan jealous of Yunha. Dong Hui tells Yunha to come to the office. While waiting, Yunha sees a man with flashy clothes and a rose in his mouth coming towards her. Meanwhile, Jiyoung tells Jihwan that Yunha is going on a blind date. Hearing this, Jihwan can't concentrate on his work. His mind races with thoughts of Yunha with someone else. Unable to resist, Jihwan goes to the cafe where Yunha is meeting the man and sits at a nearby table, trying to listen to their conversation. Eventually, Yunha notices him and feels both surprised and touched. She catches Jihwan's eye and she gently smiles but decides to walk away, leaving Jihwan feeling awkward. At home, Jihwan's crew tries to help Jihwan and Yunha make up. Jihwan, being naive around women, makes things more awkward, causing Yunha to leave in anger. The next morning, Yunha goes to a real estate agent to look for a new house. There, she runs into the high school students who were scared off by Jihwan's crew earlier. The students recognize her and start chasing after her. In a panic, Yunha answers a call from Jihwan, but drops her phone while running. Prosecutor Hyunwoo gets a call from police station and goes to the police station to solve the problem. Jihwan, trying to help, retrieves Yunha's phone but ends up hiding under a police car when he sees Yunha and Hyunwoo nearby. He watches them and leaves behind Yunha's phone under the police car. Back at home, Yunha sees multiple missed calls from Jihwan. She finally realizes who left behind her phone. We need to talk. Jihwan, nervous but hopeful, agrees. When they meet, Yunha confronts him. If you were so worried about me, why didn't you tell me anything? I was really happy spending time here. I will meet with real estate agent tomorrow. The next day, Jihwan feels sad thinking about Yunha leaving. His heart aches at the thought of losing her. Jesu sees Yunha and Hyunwoo in the park. He hurries and runs to Jihwan and tells him where Yunha is. Unwilling to be apart from her, Jihwan rushes to the park and looks for Yunha everywhere. His eyes scan the crowd, desperate to find her. He calls her phone, his heart pounding with hope. When Yunha picks up, Hyunwoo stops Yunha, and Jihwan sees them together. His heart sinks, 
but he can't look away.